Right back to the bidding process, London 2012 organizers set themselves the target of holding a Green Games. It won the bid on a plan to hold an environmentally and economically sustainable games that would leave a legacy long after the closing ceremony. A major part of the strategy came in the choice of the Olympic Park site at Stratford, a then industrial sprawl contaminated by more than a century of pollution and neglect. Two million cubic meters of contaminated soil was excavated from the site, treated and then placed back on the Olympic Park, an operation unprecedented in scale. The construction of the stadium was also revolutionary with recycled gas pipes and concrete used to form the structure. The park also uses a range of energy saving devices. The game's food is environmentally and ethically sourced and packaged in recyclable and compostable containers throughout the site. Officials are planning to reuse and recycle 70% of the expected 8,000 tons of garbage created by the Olympic spectators and it's promised none will go to a landfill. London is also the first games to set up an independent watchdog to monitor its progress. While the Commission for a Sustainable London 2012 says there is no doubt the event has met its targets, the group maintains there is more that officials could and should have done. The Olympic site will become the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park after the games, with many of the venues and infrastructure giving way to even more parkland, as well as businesses and entertainment areas.